fear him like factor. But Wolfie's got the bars inside me. Z is no reactor. <laughs> What's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro back with another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Guys, in today's video, I want to show you guys this really, really cool effect that I haven't seen on YouTube or that anyone has made a tutorial on this. I think someone may have made a tutorial on this. I, I don't know. But I don't think I've seen any that cover it in Final Cut Pro 10. And so I want to go ahead and show you guys how to do this really cool sliding freeze frame effect in Final Cut Pro 10. And you guys will see this a lot in music videos. And I think this is kind of re-emerging. And so I want to go ahead and share it with you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys. So the effect that I first saw this came from the newest, uh, I would say, music video from Love Live Serve. And the video here will be linked down in the description of this video so you guys can go ahead and watch the whole music video, which is pretty cool. I, of course, muted the video because I don't want to get a copyright strike or any of that stuff. So this is the effect right here. So if I go ahead and push play, you're going to see him just sliding across the screen, which is cool, and then sliding to the left, which is pretty cool, or sliding from the right to the left, which is really, really cool. So jump into Final Cut Pro 10, and this is the effect that I used, okay? I didn't edit Wolfie Raps' music video, just letting you guys know, but this is one of a, one of his diss tracks that he made. I'll also link this down in the description of this video. So if I go ahead and push play, he's just rapping, and then it's gonna slide, and then it's gonna fall into place, as you see there. Now, the speed of the animation, I should say, depends on how long the clip is. So I'll just show you guys that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do it. So I'm gonna delete this. So let's assume you have all of your videos, okay, lined up like this, and you made a compound clip, which pretty much groups all the videos together. I wanted to start there, okay? So I have my playhead set right there, and I'm gonna go to the top. I'm gonna go to edit and go down to add freeze frame. If you click on that, it's gonna add a freeze frame, which is pretty much a still image of that one frame that you have. So you're gonna have this, okay? So all you gotta do, is just drag it up and drag it to the left. And then from here, all you gotta do is just shrink it down or just trim it down to how long you want the effect to be. Now, I would suggest you guys do about two seconds, which would give you a smooth little animation. Or if it's too slow, just trim it down a little bit more. So as you can see, I think that's perfect. So about about a second and a half is, is the perfect time for this. So once you have done that, all you gotta do is uh, go to the beginning of this, or it doesn't really matter where you are, just go to the effects, okay? And in the all video and audio, go ahead and type in mask and drag the draw mask on that clip. So once you are here, all you have to do is just get rid of the inspector window and go ahead and make this a little bit bigger, or you can go into the top right here and in the percentage here, you can change how big you want this to be. You can do 100% and you can go up in here and just make it you know, drag this up or down so we can get very precise with our uh, pen tool. So you're gonna go ahead and click and just select him or whatever the, the object is. Just drag it around. It's kind of like a Photoshop tool. Just drag this and just go ahead and make the selection and I'll be back once I am finished. All right guys, so I am done. So all you gotta do is just go back to the fit option here and you have a selection. It should have masked everything else except him, which leaves him by himself as you can see. So all we gotta do now is just go into this button right here, click on the down arrow and go to the transform option or the transform tool, click on that and this will allow you to move it, okay? But don't move it with the mouse because we want this to be exact, okay? So to do that, all you gotta do is while you have the, or while you're in the transform tool, Go to the video inspector here, go to the transform, and in the transform option, you're gonna have position, so you're gonna have X and Y. The X, we wanna go ahead and change the value. So, we wanna start this in the beginning, so move the playhead to the beginning of that clip. Then once you've done that, go in here and click and drag this to the left. Drag this down with your mouse or drag it up if you want it sliding from the right and then to the left, or if you want it from the left to the right, do it this way. So I'm gonna do it this way. Once you are here, Go ahead and click this plus icon to add your first keyframe. Once you've done that, click here, but don't click there yet. So go to the end of that clip. So we're gonna go from here to there and click on this, which is the X, which controls the X here or the Y if you wanna change that as well. But we're gonna do it this way and we're gonna type in zero to go back into where the freeze frame was. So it's gonna leave it in the exact same spot as we uh, cut the freeze frame from. So now all we gotta do is, you can see if you've done it right, if you go and scroll through this clip here. So 
If you go back and we push play, it's going to look something like that. But it doesn't look complete because it looks kind of weird. So all I'm going to do now is just add a motion blur so it looks more realistic. So go to the effects here and go to the blur and then get rid of this mask here and go to the directional and just drag this onto that clip. So now you can see that there's a blur. I like to increase it a lot more. Depending on, you know, if it's going really fast, I would suggest you increase this because when things go faster, there's more blur. So just do that and I think that looks pretty good. You can always add a sound effects and all that stuff if you want. But let me show you how this looks like once it's finished. And like I said, you can do it from the bottom up, from the top to the bottom, from right to left or left to right. It just really depends how you want to structure this. So now if I push play, this is what it's going to look like with the effect here. And there you go. So it looks super cool, guys. I really love this effect. I don't know if you do, but I love it. And if you guys love it, smash the like button. That'd be awesome. Be sure to subscribe. Turn on the bell notification to receive weekly videos. And I'll catch you guys next week. Peace.